Hello children, today we are going to learn prime factorization by division method. Already we have learned what are prime numbers and composite numbers. Also we know how to find the factors for a given number using the factor tree method. Today we are going to learn prime factorization using division method that is only by using prime numbers we are going to divide the numbers. So let us start. Our first question is 12. We know what are the factors of 12. What are they? Two six are is twelve. Three four are is twelve. One twelve are is twelve. So all these are factors of twelve. But here we are going to take only the prime numbers, as the name itself is a prime factorization. So just look at this. Two and three are prime numbers. Let us take 2 or 3. I will show you both the methods. First let me take 2. So 2, 6 are it is 12. In normal division we write the quotient on top but here we are writing it down. Next is again dividing 6, 2, 3 are 6. 3, 1's are 3. So, what are the factors we got? 2 into 2 into 3. We have to divide the given number till we reach 1. So, now it is 3, 1's are 3. Our division is over. The factors are 2 into 2 into 3. Now let us see how to divide using 3. 12, 3. When 12 comes in 3 stable, it is 4. So 3 4s are 12. Now we have to divide 4 again. 2 2s are 4. Again, to divide 2, 2 ones are 2. So, we got 1. Now, what are the factors? Just check. It is 3 into 2 into 2. The same we got for the first method using 2. The same factors. So, our answer is correct. Next question, 64. Here 64 is an even number. So I am taking 2. 2. When 6 comes in 2 stable, 2, 3's are 6. So that is over. Now coming to the next number, 2, 2's are 4. Again divide this 32 by 2. Yes, but 2, 1's are is 2. Here the number is 3. What we are doing? We have to subtract 3 minus 2. We will get 1. So that one I will be keeping with the next number. 2, 6 are it is 12. We can take that. 3 minus 2 is 1 and that 1 is taken with this 2. So, it became 12. 2, 6 are 12. Now, to divide 16, 2, 8s are 16. Again, divide with 2. It is 2, 4s are 8. 2, 2s are 4. So, we have to divide this again. 2 ones are 2. At last, we reached 1. Now, just look at the factors. 
2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. While writing the factors, write it in pairs such that you may not miss any numbers. Here it is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 again 2 into 2. Now coming to the next question 96. 96 we can start dividing using 3 or 2. Here I have shown it in both the ways. First let us start with 3. 3 3's are it is 9. So write 3 here. Coming to the next number 3 2's are 6. Then taking 32. 32 we will not get in 3 stable. So taking 2 stable. 2 1's are it is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. That 1 is kept with the next digit. That it becomes 12. So, 2 6 are 12. Now, taking 16, 2 8s are, it is 16. 2 4s are 8. Then, 2 2s are 4. Again, dividing to 2 1s are 2. So, our division is over now. Now, let us see the another method. 96. You are going to divide by 2 first. 2. 2 4 are is 8. 9 minus 8 is 1. So that 1 will be kept with 6. Now 2 4 are 8 and 1 is kept with 6. It is 16. 2 8 are 16. Now, to divide 48, let us take 2. 2, 2's are 4, 2, 4's are 8. Again, 2. 2, 1's are 2, 2, 2's are 4. Again, 2, 2, 6's are 12. 2, 3's are 6. So, 3... 1s are 3. At last we reached 1 here. See, both of the method shows the same answer. 3 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 and here it is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. In both the methods we got the same number of factors and equal factors that is 3 1s and 2 5 times. In some places you might have thought why I didn't divide using 4 or any other number. Because we use only prime numbers for dividing. Now let us take the next question. 125. 125. Since the last digit is 5, we will divide this with 5 itself. So 5. 2's are as 10 and 5 3's are as 15. So we are taking 5 2's are 10. 5 2's are is 10. So 12 minus 10 will give 2. That 2 is kept with 5. That is 25. Now 5, 5's are as 25, we got 25. Now to divide 25, again we take 5 stable, 5, 5's are 25, again 5, 1's are 5. The factors are 5 into 5 into 5. After writing, just count and check once, such that you may not leave any number. Now, if you are given any prime numbers, how to do 17, 17 ones are 17, 29, 29 ones are 29. As these numbers doesn't have any other factors, so we can do the prime factorization like this. Now, coming to the next question, 
this 110. Since it is 0, we can take 2 over 5, but not 10, as 10 is not a prime number. Let us take 5. 5 twos are 10. And 11 minus 10 will give you 1 reminder. So, 1 is kept with the 0 that it becomes 10. Again, 5 twos are 10. Now, 22 we can divide using 2. 2 ones are 2. Again, 2 ones are 2. Now, it is 11. 11 has only two factors, that is, it's a prime number. So, 11 ones are 11. Our division is over. The factors are 5 into 2 into 11. 5 into 2 is 10. 10 into 11 is 110. Our next question is 76. Since 76 is an even number, I'm going to divide this with 2. 2, 2 3's are is 6 and 2 4's are is 8. So, we take only 2 3's are 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. That 1 is kept with again the next digit 6. So, it becomes 16. 2 8's are is 16. Now, let us divide 38 by 2. 2 1's are is 2. And the one is kept with 8. Become 18. 2 9's are 18. Now, do you have any other number to divide this 19? No, only 19 is there. Since 19 is a prime number, we can divide 19. Once are 19. So, the factors are 2 into 2 into 19. Here, I have given some more examples of prime factorization. Just have a look at it. 56, 40, 80 and 100. In the description box, I have given the link to find the prime and composite numbers from 1 to 100 and to do the factor tree. Just have a look at it. Thank you for watching.